So in this tutorial, I'll be going over how to create a simple stop motion animation with Legos and how to do the mouth animations on the minifigures heads using a program called glue face. Here's an example of the video we're going to make today. It seems like there's a fine line between having a pet and having a hostage from a different species. <laughs> so, uh, that's some borrowed material from the comedian Dimitri Martin and then some pictures that I took. Now the stuff you'll need is you'll, you're going to need an audio file shown here and then you're going to need some pictures that you've taken uh, with slight movements for the stop motion portion. So the other thing you're going to need if you have those is um, some programs. We're going to be using three programs, one called Monkey Jam, uh, which will be used to combine your stop motion pictures into an actual video. Another one called Papagayo, which is used to specify what mouth shape should be used for each sound in your audio clip. And the last one is glue face, which is used to paste the mouth shapes onto your minifigure's head. So to get started, uh, we just opened up Monkey Jam. We go ahead and check that the frames per second is set to 24, which will be important later. And then we'll import some images. Mine are all, I think, just on my desktop. So I'm going to import these images here. Um, you can specify right here how many frames it's going to hold it for. I'm going to change that to seven, and then I'm going to import them all. Now, once, once they're imported, uh, you can start dragging around the frames. Um, but first, what we're going to do is import the audio clip so we can line up our frames with our audio. So let me find the audio clip real quick. There it is. Okay. Now, if you uh, press your right mouse button, you can see... You can hear the audio as we're going through this. So now I can start lining up the frames. You just drag and uh, click and drag, and you can move the the frames around. You can extend the frames how long each uh, how how long each, how many frames each picture is held. So I'll just do that real quick. You can also line it up with the audio by you know clicking the audio and playing it uh, to see which frames need to move when. So this will just this program will just um, allow us to make a video out of all these different images. Since this is a tutorial, we can speed it up real quick for you. Pretend like it's real time. So let's skip to the end. Okay. So once we've got that finished uh, and we got everything the way we want it, we're going to go up to the top here and there's a little TV button. We're going to click that TV button. That uh, is our preview to let us see what we've got so far with the audio. Uh, I'm going to fast forward through the uh, preview processing that kind of takes a while sometimes. I cheated here, and this is what it should look like. There it is. It tells us it's done. Let's hit play. It seems like there's a fine line between having a pet and having a hostage from a different species. Looks good enough for what I need it for, so um, we'll go ahead and save this out. Now before we save it out, we're going to clear the audio. Glueface, the program we're going to use next, needs it. Uh, this file is an uncompressed AVI. It also needs it to be in 4 uh, by 3 aspect or else it just will not work in Glueface. So that's why we delete the audio and also the audio is just not that great in uh, Monkey Jam as you heard. So we'll do this as an uncompressed AVI. I'm going to call it uh, DM for Dimitri Martin, Pet Hostage underscore MJ for Monkey Jam and then save it out. Uh, again, I'll fast forward through the saving process. That again takes a little while. So we'll fast forward through that. And there you go. So with that completely done, we're gonna minimize Monkey Jam for uh, right now. We're done with it. And we're gonna open up a program called Papagayo. Papagayo is going to let us um, specify what mouth shape should be used for each of the different words. So now we drag in our sound file that we're going to use uh, with the video. And you can see the waveforms there. And then normally underneath there, there's a text box. And we would normally just type the words in the audio file. But I've got them in a text file. So I'm just going to copy and paste them in. Now you can see them up there. It seems like there's a fine line between having a pet and having a hostage from a different species. So there it is. So now you have the waveforms and the words. Now our entire job is just going to be to line them up. So we're going to line up these words. Um, 
And then we can also, at the very bottom of those waveforms, you see all the different uh, phonemes, phenomes. I don't remember what they're called. You can actually shift those around too. You see the mouth on the right-hand side. That's important. Uh, and you can watch it and see, make sure the speech pattern looks correct. Just above the mouse, you'll see frames per second. And we have that set to 24 again. That frames per second needs to match what we put in Monkey Jam. Um, or else, again, um, the words will not appear correctly uh, when we put this in blue face, which is the next program we're going to. So let me fast forward this part for us um, and just get to the end so I can show you that. Um, and you guys can do the time consuming part of lining up your words with your waveforms. It seems like there's a fine line between having a pet and having, having a hostage from a different species. Cool. Well, that's good enough for what I think I need it for. So we're going to get go ahead and export that uh, with the bottom in the bottom right hand corner with the export function. Uh, save it where you want to save it. And it's going to be a dot dat file. And it should put that extension on there for you if you don't do it manually. And that's all we're going to do in Papagayo. Once we save that out, should be good. We're going to minimize Papagayo. We're done with it. And now we're going to open up the final program called Glueface. So we open up Glueface, and the first thing we're going to do is import that first video that we made in Monkey Jam. And there it is. And then next, we're going to open up that .dat file that we just barely made in Papagayo. There it goes, and that's going to specify all the mouth movements. And finally, we're going to import a mouth. Now let me show you where all the different files are. Uh, it's wherever you um, installed Glueface. Um, that's where it is. And then I uh, think the Lego N faces are pretty good, so I'm going to use one of those. So imported a mouth right there. Imports it kind of as a, at a ridiculous size, so we're going to go ahead and change it a little bit. You've got your controls on the left-hand side. And uh, there's our mouth. So we can move it around. Kind of place it more or less where the mouth is on the minifigure, and then let me show you what it looks like. See the mouth movement? Just like we defined it to do in Papagayo. And then a couple of the different controls you can do is you can uh, specify the radius of the minifigure's head, more or less. You can also spin the mouth on that cylinder uh, that, that is the head, the minifigure's head. You can also change the size of the mouth depending on uh, how big the head is and where he's at in the frame. We can also spin it uh, to be wherever we need it to be in case someone's at a different angle. Uh, and then finally we can move it to wherever we need it to move it. Now, Glueface uses keyframes. So you do, can define each any one of those five properties at any one frame. However, here's the word of caution. Um, if you set a state at frame zero and then change the spin say at frame 20, Blueface is gonna linearly interpolate uh, the spin between zero and 20. So I do what's called uh, setting anchor frames. So right before I make a big change, I'll set a frame that is exactly the same as the last time, and then do the big change in one step between one frame and the next step. That way nothing's spinning slowly that when I don't want it to, if that makes sense. It probably doesn't, but you'll figure it out as you go. So I'm gonna leave this mouth and let it uh, pretty much stay in the same place on his face. His head doesn't move too much. Um, just at the very end, see when I get there when all the mouth movement stops. I'm gonna go ahead and switch it back from his, the Lego N smile back to his uh, sly cricket smile. So in order to do that, I'm gonna select spin. I'm gonna set that anchor frame that is pretty much the exact same spin as it was before. And then I'm gonna move forward one frame and then I'm going to spin that uh, mouth off his face. Now you can see how uh, the mouth just goes away because it's on the other side of the cylinder, which is not visible. Cool. Well, we're done with this part so far. It was a pretty simple one. Let's go ahead and save it out. Save that uh, file out. Wherever you want it to be, it's gonna be another uncompressed AVI. That's all it saves it out as. And then um, I'll go ahead and fast forward through this part again since it's a pretty slow process saving uh, frame by frame.
So let me fast forward here. Great, so there it is. Uh, we're done with glue face as well. We've exported the video. Now the last step is just uh, whatever your favorite uh, movie editor is. Go ahead and open that up and you're just gonna use that to um, combine the video with your sound file. So I'm gonna import uh, the video into Windows Movie Maker, which is uh, the program that I use sometimes. And then I'm gonna import the audio and then I'm gonna save those two things out. Uh, export those. And that's the final step of making our video. So let me save that real quick. Call this uh, Dimitri Martin Pet Hostage Final. Save that out. And I'll uh, export that process. There it is. Cool, we'll go ahead and watch it, make sure it looks good. It seems like there's a fine line between having a pet and having a hostage from a different species. <laughs> Congratulations, you've now made your first stop motion animation with mouth animation. Um, and the all the different downloadable content, um, all the different locations for the different open source programs, uh, Monkey Jam, Papagayo, and Glueface should all be down in the video description. Uh, good luck, happy editing.